behind on the ground or floor. Similarly, we leave behind a trace of all activities in the environment as carbon dioxide and that is what is carbon footprint. Carbon dioxide as we all know is emitted by burning fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas. More the fuel we consume, the bigger is the trace that we leave, that is bigger the carbon footprint we leave. Now, for example, we are driving a car, the only carbon dioxide emitted is the exhaust. Is it really so? Then what about the account of carbon dioxide emitted during mining, transport to the refinery, processing and transport of the petroleum to a local petrol pump. Similarly, carbon dioxide is also released during the production of the car, which is still larger. Thus, carbon footprint for driving a car is far greater than the carbon dioxide emitted only by its exhaust. For example, if you are carrying out a very simple activity like drinking a glass of water, this activity also has carbon footprint associated with it. Why? Because energy was used to purify the water, energy was used to pump this water into the tank, energy was invested in preparing the glass or the utensils. So, anything which is made in factory has some amount of energy associated with it, consequently has a carbon footprint. Something very basic as ordinary as getting vegetables from the market, this also has a carbon footprint, because this vegetable may have travelled some polluting miles to get to the market. Thus, it is really impossible not to leave a carbon footprint behind, but there are actions and choices that can considerably reduce carbon footprint and that is how we can leave a footstep on the climate change.